Hi everybody, it's Doreen, and no, we're not making a Christmas card. I needed to take a break from the Christmas cards because we have a couple of people in the department that I work in that are retiring at the end of the year. And I wanted to do something special for each one of them, so this is the first card for one of the employees who has been there 32 years. And she now has decided to retire and move on to enjoying retirement. So come on and join me and I'm going to show you how I made this card. Okay everybody, so I'm going to go ahead and bring up the supplies so we can get started making the card. So now my card measures 8.5 by 5.5 and, and I've taken it and scored it in half to make it a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my next layer and my next layer measures five and a quarter by four inches. So we're going to go ahead and open up our card and go ahead and get some tape on here. Oh, we don't want to get on the paper. I just want to get it on the cardstock. I'm going to go all the way around and then in the middle. Now this paper that I'm using is some paper that I've had for quite a while. It's the Paper Studio textured cardstock and it looks like this. And this one is darks. And I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. So we'll go ahead now and just add this to our card. And I'm going to line this up. And then we can go ahead and lay it down. Now, I've gone ahead and inked my edges. And I used the Evergreen Bow or Evergreen Ba. Or I'm not quite sure how you pronounce this. So from now on, I'm just going to say Evergreen. And it's the Tim Holtz Distress Ink. It's the new winter collection. So now that we've got that on, we'll go ahead and we can add our next layer. Now my next layer is some cardstock that is the paper company. It's the Joanne Fabric Textured Cardstock. And what I did was I ran it through this new Sizzix die that I got. And it looks like this. And this die came free when I purchased this Sizzix die cut um, on the um, Black Friday at Joann's. They had um, these dies were marked down um, to from I believe it was $3.99 to $12.99 or something like that. So I picked up about three three different ones. That was my little haul from um, Black Friday. So now this piece of cardstock measures five inches by three and three quarter inches. And I've gone ahead and inked the edges as well with this one. And then the other thing that I did was after I ran this through my Big Shot, I took my Tim Holtz sander and just ran it across just to bring out the core of the paper. So let's go ahead and add this to the card by getting some tape on our edges and then we'll get some tape in the middle. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add this on top of the previous layer. Like so. And then I want to go ahead and press down and I'm not adding any ribbon, so I remembered this time that I could go ahead and just add this to the card. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about um, what I used the Cricut and the Gypsy for. I didn't have a stamp that said what I wanted it to say. So what I did was I came up with writing out my own greeting. And my greeting says, let the, re let the relaxation begin. And the way I did this is I went ahead 
and I used my Cricut pens to just go ahead and write out what I wanted it my um, greeting to say. And I do have a video on how to use the Cricut pens and I'll put that up here in the video. But the cartridge that I used to do this was the Jubilee cartridge. And it looks like, the handbook looks like this. So now we'll go over how I did this on the Gypsy. So the first thing I did was I had to decide how big I wanted to make my let the relaxation begin. So let me go to that. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this up so you can see what. So what I did was I just went ahead. I didn't do any welding on the gypsy. I just spelled out let the relaxation begin. And then I knew um, pretty much where I wanted to put it on my card. So I set up a rectangle that was 5 inches by 3 and 3 quarter inches. And I just went ahead and I grouped all of the letters together so that it would be one like so. And then I just took the aspect ratio off and I just continue to just keep changing my height and width until I got it to fit in the rectangle the way I wanted to cut it. So now it, what you do first or what I did first was I went ahead and drew this out with the Cricut pens first and then rather than saying to unload my mat I went back and said return to design. So once it returned to my design, I then went ahead and cut my rectangle that had my wording, let the relaxation begin. And then I went ahead and cut all my other elements that I had to add to the card. So once I had this drawn out with my Cricut pens, I went back and colored it in using my Specca pens. And then I inked my edges with the Evergreen. So we can now go ahead and we're just going to add this to the card. And I'm not going to pop this up at all on the card. So let me move my Gypsy out the way and we'll just go ahead and get some tape on here. And we're just going to add this. To the card. And I don't know why I'm having trouble staying on what I'm trying to tape rather than going on the paper below. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I want to add this and I'm going to put this right here and then just press down. So now the next thing we're going to go ahead and add is we're going to go ahead and add our scallop oval. And I'm just going to lay it out for right now before we tape it down. And make sure that's where I want it. And then I also want to lay out my flower so that I know I have enough room to get the flower on there. So I'm just going to move this over just a little bit here. Because we're going to place our flower right there. Okay, so now let's talk about the scallop oval. The scallop oval is from the Art Philosophy cartridge. As I've said on previous videos, this is starting to become one of my favorite cartridges next to the Flower Shop cartridge. And this is a close to my heart um, cartridge. So, the scallop is on page 62, and it's labeled the Oval 5 in your handbook. So now, on your Gypsy, that is key number 42. So let's go ahead and go to that cartridge, and we'll go to 42, and it looks like this. So now, I cut that at, 
two and three eighths inches for the first one. This one right here. And then for the top layer, that one was cut at two inches. And the cardstock that I use to cut this is a paper pack that's by K and Company. It's a Susan Wingate, and it looks like this. And these are some of the papers that are in there. And it is double-sided. So they look like this. And what I did was I cut one using one side of the paper, and then I cut the other using the other side of the paper. So as you can see, it looks like this. So now let's go ahead and add the top one to the bottom one because I want to pop the bottom one up. So let's add the top one first. And we'll go ahead and get some tape on here as well. And I also inked my edges once again using the evergreen. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add that like so. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pop this up with some foam tape. So let me go ahead and cut some of the foam tape and then I'll be back. Okay, I've got my foam tape on the back of my oval, and I've already taken off the tape backing. So we're now ready to just add it to the card. And I'm just going to go ahead and line it up. I think I'm going to line it up right in between the A and the X and relaxation, and then just press down. So now I have that added to my card. Now the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and add is, I'm going to go ahead and add my little couch or sofa. Now this is from the Summer in Paris cartridge and there is no handbook for this. This is one of the solution cartridges and I cut out the couch and that is key number seven on your gypsy or key number seven on your handout. And let's see what I cut that at. I believe I cut that at one and a quarter inches. So let's go ahead and go to that cartridge. So that would be key number seven. Sorry about that. I hit the key number eight. And it looks like this. This is your overlay. And then key 17 is the bottom or blackout of the couch. So now... I cut that at one and a quarter inches. And I think I like, it looks like on the handout that they have like a 3D couch. So I'll have to try to figure out one day how to do that one. It looks pretty interesting. Okay, when I looked at my, um, the back of the cartridge handout, I noticed that there is 3D objects on here. So there is a 3D object for the couch. I'm not going to try cutting that one with this card because I really had a time trying to cut this at one and a quarter inches because the pieces are so intricate. I would recommend um, if you're going to make this card, sure you can cut it at the one and a quarter, but you might want to think about in the future making it larger because I did have to cut it twice because the paper did rip the first time. So now I've got this popped up on some with some foam tape. So I'm going to go ahead and take the backing off the foam tape and then we're going to add the sofa to the front of the card. Okay. So now I'm just going to put it right there in the front of the card. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to go ahead and add is I'm going to go ahead and add my flower. Now my flower is from the flower shop cartridge. And here's the handbook. And this is my favorite cartridge to date. So now I've cut out the scallop 2 flower 
which is on page 13. And what I did, let's see which key that is. That is key number 12 on your gypsy. So let's go ahead and go to that cartridge on the gypsy. So it's key number 12 and it looks like this. So I cut out a 2 inch, a 1 and 3 quarters, oh, I'm sorry, a 1 and a half inch, a 1 and a quarter, and a 1 inch. And then what I did was I went ahead and inked each one of them using the Evergreen the pine needles, and these are by Tim Holtz, the peeled paint, the brush corduroy, and the mustard seed. And then one other color that I used was the Stampin' Up! More Mustard. Now for the evergreen, the evergreen is actually my center flower, and that center flower is key number two and it looks like this so in your handbook it would be the scallop one which is right here so once I had them all inked up I then went ahead and put them together so it ended up coming out like this so now I'm just going to go ahead and I want to add that right there and I'm gonna go ahead and add this using my glue gun I'll get some glue on the back and I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it down right there like so and then I'm gonna get up the little glue stragglers we have right there so that's my flower now, what I want to also do is I wanted to add some leaves, but I wanted my leaves to bling. Because you know I love the bling. So what I've done is I picked up these leaves, and I'm sure everyone has seen them, in the dollar bin at Michael's. So I'm just going to go ahead and add them. One on that side, and I'm going to place one on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and get some glue on there using my glue gun and add those and then I'll be back. Okay everybody, so now we've got our leaves on there. So the last thing we're going to add to the front of the card is I have these little butterflies and I also picked these up in the dollar bin at Michael's. So I'm just going to go ahead and place one right over here in the corner. Or not the corner, but the corner of the Let the Relaxation Begin. So that's it for the front of the card. Now for my inside sentiment, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I've cut another piece of the card stock from the k and Company. It looks like this on one side and like this one on the other. And I've cut this at five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm going to add that to the inside of the card. So I'm going to go ahead and get my tape gun out, get some tape on the edges, then I'm going to get some tape in the middle, and then we're just going to go ahead and add this to the inside of the card. And this time I didn't ink my edges. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add my inside sentiment and I did the inside sentiment the same way because I didn't have a stamp that said happy retirement so I once again used the Jubilee cartridge and my Cricut pens and I wrote out the words happy retirement and then I just went ahead and inked my edges so we're going to add that right here in the middle so let's get out our tape gun again and get some tape on here and I probably could have used my 
combo, but since the tape gun was right handy, we'll just use the tape gun. And we'll add this right here in the middle. So that's it, everybody. That's my retirement card for my co-worker who is retiring. Thanks for watching, everybody. And come back. We'll be doing the Christmas cards again. Bye.